Hi, we are all aware of the three states of our existence, the wakeful, the dreaming and the sleeping states. It's not so well known to us that there are this other state called the fourth state. That is a state in which you lose your separateness from the world, you merge back into the world and have a consciousness of the world. There you feel that you are godlike. There you feel that you are no more a particle by the wave going from one end of the universe to the other. And the wave is coherent. 
There's a fifth state beyond this. Fourth state. That is, being the individual separate from the world and being also the world. And now, we are going to trace the relationship between your particulate nature, which is located in this particular point of space and time, and the near infinity of the cosmos. So this geometrical relationship between yourself and the world is at first in terms of Sri Chakra. We are going to discuss a meditation on how to do the Sri Chakra, how to visualize the Sri Chakra in your mind. Sri Chakra is called Vyat Chakra. Vyat means space. It's not something you see on paper, it's not something you can hold, but it's something in your imagination. In the space of your imagination, the chakra exists. So meditation consists of the geometry, visualizing the geometry of the Shri Chakra. And for us to reference these points of geometry, we will give some names which are associated with goddesses of the Shri Vijay tradition. The names do not match that much, but their locations and the, the way the powers they represent, they are important. We will discuss that sometime later. Now we will discuss the mechanics of visualizing, visualizing the Shri Chakra. And now we will begin on this. Nice. Okay? Yes. We might have picked up a little bit of the... And action. Here you are seeing a three-dimensional form of Sri Chakra. It's a pyramidal form where each level is taken up higher and higher and higher. You will observe that there are nine levels here. The first level or the ground is square. You have got three enclosures. And second level is the 16 petal lotus. And third level is 8 petal lotus here. These three levels correspond to the individual or the state where we exist separately from the universe, separated from the universe. The next three levels, there is a 14 corner figure here and there is a 10 corner figure here and another 10 corner figure here. So these three things represent the, the cosmos into which we will merge when we finish with our separation from the world. As the world will exist in these three levels. Then the next three levels are the eight triangles here and a triangle and a bindu. These three levels represent the, the structures they are needed to manufacture the cosmos. <coughs> so we can say that this first three levels constitute the beginning of the universe or, or the last defining the beginning of the universe and second three represent the manifestation of the universe and third three represent the separation of the individual from the universe. Now we move over from this to a, a drawing which we are going to unfold from the successively to the 16 8 petal lotuses, 14 corner figure, 10 corner figure, 10 corner figure 
eight corner figure and triangle and window. What prevents this from sliding down? Here, you are seeing the Sijukra in a planar form and we are going to construct the Sijukra in our minds step by step, step by step, step by step. First we will look at the outermost layer. It consists of a square. I have indicated the square here. And there are three squares, one outermost, inner, next one, next one. And we are going to show the points one by one here. Look in the outermost, we have four gates here, one, two, three, four. And sequence of the points which we are going to construct in our minds are like this. You form the gate here, then the gate here, look at the gate here, look at the gate here. And then the corner here, and the corner there, there, and there. And now, this we do, and now if we think of a line, which is projecting out from this, like this, and if you are looking at it from this angle, then we find now the projection falls on at this place here and the bottom side of this one the projection of it falls at this place so if you are looking at 10 directions four main directions four intermediate directions and then the up and the down we are going to have 10 directions so in the outermost line, which is indicated by this, these things here, corners here, we, we are making these corners in our mind, and then we are making this, joining them up to make the squares. That's how we are going to construct the Shichakra in our mind. So let's look at the first outermost square here, and look at the sequence in which we are going to go. It's like this. As you are entering each gate, look at it towards the right. As you are entering this gate, look towards the right. As you are entering this gate, you look towards your right. And as you are entering this gate, you look towards your right. So let's start from here. The sequence goes 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is down under, and ten is up above. In the middle line, there are eight positions which we are going to construct. The up and down are not there for this. So this point and this point are missing in the second line, inner line. And so you got the same sequence. But here, as you are entering the gate, you are looking at the left of the gate. So the sequence goes like this. One, two, three, four, and the corners remain the, at the same position roughly. Five, six, seven, and eight. The innermost square is like the outermost square. And the sequence is the same as in the first square. So they again as you are entering the gate, they are towards your right. So you see, there is one deity here 
one point here, one point here, and one point here in the middle line. The same structure repeats to this side, one that side, to this side, and one that side, to this side, and one that side, and the four corners. This is how the sequence is going. This is structure the square. The structure of the square also has the four main deities Ganesha, Surya, Vishnu and Shiva located in the four corners. In the Meru that we saw a little while ago, we had a square here representing the earth, that is Ganesha. And we had a, a circle with twelve spokes. And this represents the sun, the Surya. And we had a symbol of wave here and a dot here. Like waves representing the wavy nature of yourself and dot representing your local nature of the yourself. That's a waves are the, the like an ocean and in the ocean Vishnu is sitting. That is symbolism there. And here you had a triangle that stands for Shiva. An upper triangle stands for Shiva. So Ganesha, Surya, Vishnu and Shiva. Now I ink the positions which help us in constructing the three squares. So in, the, in this position one, we we'll get here. In this position two, in this version three, in this version four, and five, six, seven, and eight. And the down under nine, up above ten. This for the outermost square. Now coming to the inner one, which I got only eight, the sequence is as we are entering the gate towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. The innermost square is like the first one. We start with this and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is how we are going to remember the outermost set of three squares. So we will construct the Shri Chakra as outermost layer in three stages. And we define substructures of the Shri Chakra. Make them in our mind. Anima Siddhi. Laghima Siddhi. Mahima Siddhi. Ishitva Siddhi. Vashitva Siddhi, yeah, Prakami Siddhi, Bhukti Siddhi, Icha Siddhi, Prabhati Siddhi, Sarvakama Siddhi. This structure is the out, outmost layer 
is like this. complete that in your mind. We have Brahmi, Maheshwari, Kaumari, Vaishnavi, Varahi, Mahendri, Chamunde, Mahalakshmi. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the innermost square and that is Sarva Sankshavini, Sarva Vidravini, Sarva Karshini, Sarva Vashankari, Sarvon Madhini, Sarva Mahankushe, Sarva Kejari, Sarva Bije, Sarva Yone, Sarva Trikhande. So that's how this structure is built in the mind's eye. This is the outermost structure in the Sri Chakra. And this represents for a soul separate, separated from the cosmos. Its wakeful state. This is Srishti, Jiva. Now we are going to look at the second and third structures of the Sri Chakra, which are inside the square. The second structure consists of 16 petals in a lotus form inside the outermost circle. This represents the dream state of the individual. And sequence goes like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Notice that we are starting from this western position. That is east, this is west, this is south and north. That's where the, if you are doing the Sri Chakra Puja, you are sitting here, and Devi is sitting here and this Sri Chakra is connecting you to Devi. So imagine that the Devi is like a sun which is rising in the, in the sky. When you are looking at the rising sun, that is east, no matter which direction you are sitting actually. So the, the direction in which you are looking at Devi is always the east for you. You start from the petal nearest to you and here the sequence is anti-clockwise. 